Right now, all eyes glued to the 4th Avenue Jail in Phoenix because this is where Cardinals running back Jonathan Dwyer is cuffed and in custody for aggravated assault. He's about to face a judge for the first time, and it is all happening at a time when the NFL is already in a negative light. ABC 15 Sarah Goldenberg on the story since it broke, and Sarah, there are allegedly two victims involved here. Yeah, police say Dwyer assaulted a woman and her 18-month-old child. They say he even threatened to kill himself via a text message to that woman if she were to go to police. And tonight, we are waiting to see exactly when he'll appear before a judge. It's a far cry from running back Jonathan Dwyer's performance on the field for the Arizona Cardinals. Arrested Jonathan Dwyer for allegations of aggravated assault. Phoenix police say Dwyer assaulted a 27-year-old woman and her toddler twice in their home Jonathan, this July. Wife? The first time neighbors called the police after they heard fighting. He took a cell phone that she was attempting to use for that and ultimately threw it from the second floor of their residence, preventing her from calling the police. The second time, the woman ended up with a fracture. The child wasn't hurt, but police say was assaulted. After she was physically assaulted, he took a shoe and threw it at their 18-month-old child. Then police say the victim fled the state. Dwyer warned her not to call police, sending her a text with a photo of a knife, saying he would kill himself if she did. But the victim called police a few days ago. They got her medical records and searched their Ahwatukee home. The police have come here like every other night and just stopped right there and they'd walk out. Police pulled Dwyer from practice for questioning and then arrested him. He has admitted that these incidents occurred. However, he has denied that he has physically assaulted uh, the victim in this particular case. The Cardinals say they will continue to monitor this case, and they did release a statement saying, in part, given the serious nature of the allegations, we have taken the immediate step to deactivate Jonathan from all team activities. Back to you. Thanks so much, Sarah.